Hi guys, Brian here at BBK and we are actually in our Temecula, California R&D facility and we're going to take a look at our latest F-150 products with Chris. Hey guys. Chris, so what do we got here? What year are we talking? What this range? This is a 2011 to 2014 parts that we're going to be talking about on this. This specific truck is a 2012 F-150. It's got the V8 5.0 liter Coyote motor in it. So just and for the enthusiasts that aren't familiar with the Mustang, this is the same 5 liter Mustang motor basically. It fits 11 to 14 on the truck. And the horsepower number is a little different because of the factory tune and exhaust Correct. compared to the Mustang, but the motor itself, including throttle body and that are pretty much the same. So this you said is a 2012. So yes. We'll look at the act, or cat back system last. I know that's something that we've come out with a couple of cool versions, but let's take a look at the stuff you have over here on the table, okay. which covers our main product categories. So we'll start out, Chris. I see you've got our cold air system. And yes. I see you actually have two versions of the air box. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on there? Yeah, what we are doing, we're gonna offer a lower cost metal version. You're gonna get a metal box. You're gonna get a metal tube. We are also offering a roto-mold version. This so is gonna come with a little bit more design on it. As you can see, we have our BBK emblem on it. Okay. It'll be a little bit more cost effective, but in the end, you're still gonna get the same amount of power, same gains out of it, same performance out so of both of them. So the steel kit is actually lower cost. Yes. The roto-mold's gonna give you a cooler look. Uh, horsepower wise, so I know I like the look of the roto-mold, but the uh, Steel kit, same horsepower. There is no negative with heat as far as no. the metal on the tube. I know that we was haven't a noticed conception. any differences in yeah. either running metal or the roto pad. Okay. So after that, and that's something that it doesn't have a carbon trap on these models. So that's something that will eventually be 50 state yes. carb legal. So after that, we're looking at our uh, throttle body. This is our Power Plus series throttle bodies, and this looks familiar to me because it's the same unit that fits the Mustang, Mustang for that generation. And I see here, and you can explain, Chris, this comes with all the factory electronics so you don't have to swap everything. Yes, this is a direct bolt-on on this model. We offer it in an 85 millimeter, and it's gonna be a 90 millimeter as well. Okay. And you can also get tunes with it if you wanted to, you know, with cold air, depending on your applications here. You can get tunes which are going to help better perform these parts, yeah, but just, just without so it, it's going to be a direct bolt-on. With the stock tune, everything's going to work just fine. Yeah, and for you enthusiasts out there that aren't real familiar with our stuff, BBK, we always build stuff that's going to work with the factory setup. So, yes. you know, a lot of companies will make throttle bodies, master meters, whatever they may be, and guys go to put them on the car, they get a check engine light, it won't work with the stock setup. So we're not always the fastest to market because we try to make sure everything actually will work with stock setup. We want you to be able to put it on and drive that same yeah. day. Now that being said, we work with companies like SCT. They'll do a lot of tune files for us on all of our products, you know, because of the popularity. So when you buy a tuner like an SCT, they'll have tune files that will give you even better performance. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I was saying, everything will work with a factory tune. Now there are a couple exceptions. If a guy's running a radical combination camshaft or sign that our engineers didn't plan Accommodate on, for, yeah. you may have to do a tune with mm -hmm. some parts that are out there in the aftermarket. But for 99% of the instances, this is bolt-on stuff. Yes. So now not, this isn't a horsepower gainer, but I know it indirectly is a horsepower gainer. This is the oil separator kits. I know these have been really popular in our line the last couple of years. Yes. So tell me about the kit for the F-150. The kit for the F-150 is just like all our other parts. It's going to be a direct bolt-on kit. This is going to replace the factory hose that runs from the crankcase to the intake on the car. Okay. What's happening is you're creating oil vapor. Yeah, that oil, that vapor oil is, is going turn right into, into your intake. So, so uh, yeah. this is going to help trap all that, and we recommend you to change the oil in it. Well, you don't take oil, but change yeah, the oil this, every 3,000 miles on your car. You change the take the oil out of that. Right, and just so everybody can see, this is the same housing we use on all of our applications. It's a three-inch large volume housing. It's fully CNC aluminum. It's got a cool O-ring setup. You know, it's a pretty trick piece, especially considering this is basically a $150 price point. You get a lot for your money on this. Mm -hmm. So you've got a cool little mesh material here that helps catch the condensate of the oil. So it actually will collect in the bottom here and you got a little filter that keeps the vapor from escaping. But uh, 
These are a really cool item, you know, and it, while they don't directly add horsepower, they actually add quite a bit down the road because that carbon buildup, which everybody's seen when you rebuild a motor, not only creates detonation, but it kills horsepower, exactly. it kills performance. So this is a cool item that everybody should have. And I know we have these kits for pretty much all the late model, auto, you know, Jeep, Dodge, Ford, Chevy, truck and car models that you guys have been cranking out. Yep. That gives you the correct bracketry in that, but we also have a universal kit that will pretty much fit any of them. Yeah. So, so now I know the last category, and it's actually something that we started doing back in 88 here at BBK, and it's kind of, you know, one of our unique things with the tuned length header. Yes. So this is an inch and three quarter, correct? That's correct. Okay, so inch and three quarter, and I know uh, this is going to give us a stock packaging, so it's something that will work with the factory catalytic converter and will be able to be a 50 state legal yes. item that you guys are testing. We correct? are actually getting tested right now okay. as we speak. Now I know in our product planning meetings we talked about and you guys have been working on the long tube version like the Mustang for the truck mm -hmm. and where this will give you 10 to 15 horsepower, what kind of gains do we usually get on the You're, you're getting tubes? about 15 to 20, 22. Okay. So and you're that's be 20 because plus. we're running a high flow catted Y pipe with the full lengths okay. as well. Yeah, and I know because of the catted pipe and the longer tubing, you're going to get a lot more torque also, and that's yes. a system that won't be California legal because the converter's being replaced, Correct. but it is something that's designed to be 49 state legal, what people refer to. Yes. So those will be out shortly, and that's something that, you know, when we get to the end of this video, we can show some different horsepower numbers on the dyno here. So the last thing that we'll take a look at is we're going to need to go take a look at our uh, axle back systems, which we'll do here when we get the vehicle on the lift. Sounds good. Okay, we're gonna check out our catback systems for the 11 to 14 now. And the one that's on this truck is actually what will probably be the most common kit. This is what you see a lot in the market. It's the two tips running in the stock location where the normal one tip would be. Yes. Now, Chris, the diameter on both these pipes are? Two and a half inch. Two and a half inch, kit. okay. And then the main pipe coming out? The main pipe, the head pipe from the cat back system up to the mufflers is three inch. Three inch. So, so what you guys got to remember is this Coyote motor is basically a Mustang engine, so we treat it like a Mustang. So when we started doing the cat backs for the F-150, we looked at every kit on the market. Mm -hmm. We had these guys dyno test pretty much everything, and a lot of companies are using one large muffler in the F-150 truck. We weren't happy with the horsepower numbers of the sound. Then we had a lot of systems out there using one small muffler, which we had a real reverberation problem, yeah, right? Yeah, it was, so it had a weird You get a real, a lot of backup pressure because, you know, you're trying to run basically a Mustang V8 through one little muffler. So it costs us a little more for the kit. We were able to offset it with some production costs and keep the price of the overall kit down. Mm -hmm. But what you'll see here is we actually went with two Veritune two and a half inch mufflers. So it gave you a lot better situation with the sound. We were able to eliminate a lot of yes. the droning, correct? But you're able to balance the mufflers just like any of our other kits with the axle backs for the cars where you can tune one muffler in or out to reduce droning on it. Okay. And this helped a lot for this yeah. truck. Yeah, so this setup, it's all stainless steel, you know, standard system. And like we said, there's two versions. So this kit has the two tips coming out the side. They're actually two three and a half inch stainless steel tips two and no a half inch pipes and then the other system Chris it's the it's same a one pipe single and tip then on it's both another sides. tip on the other side mm -hmm. so it's a dual exhaust with one tip on each side Correct. so both those kits should be available by the time you guys are seeing these videos and then let's take a quick look at the mufflers themselves so we can show you how that tunes mm -hmm. so so basically what we've got here is you have all stainless steel construction on the hardware as well. And these are actually adjustable valves inside the muffler. And if you go on our website, you look at the Veritune and how it works. It's basically a mechanical internal valve. It allows you to adjust the sound of the muffler, you know, up about 30% on sound from quiet to loud. And so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Yep. It's something you can do in a few minutes. So, you know, if you want the truck to be loud, you can do it wide open like this is currently. If the wife's driving it, you're just going on a trip, you don't want to have, you know, any sound, you can adjust it all the way closed. And what's cool is you can get rid of a lot of the resonance that you'll get with some systems by just slightly offsetting the adjustment of both. So it gives you full flexibility. So that's about it, right, Chris? Yeah, it's a quick, easy install bolt-up kit. 
and it'll add good performance and good sound to your truck. So we're going to move over to the dyno now. We're going to see what all these products include in this uh, axle back. So we're going to test with the throttle body, the air intake system, the tune length headers, and the axle back and see what kind of horsepower we get. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, we're all strapped down. You're going to hook up the RPM probe and see what we've got. Can't wait to hear what this thing sounds like with this catback system. And just so you guys know, our system is actually using two mufflers, which we just saw on the lift. So, you know, the uh, sound is going to be a little bit different and you're going to have adjustability because it's the Veritune setup. So right now we left it in what setting on the lift, Chris, for the exhaust? Full open. Full open. So it's going to be in the full open mode. So let's fire it up, see what it sounds like first. Wow, Chris, that's over 300 horsepower gain average compared to about a 260 to 270 average with the stock setup. And that's also with the shorty headers, the long tubes that we'll be showing later on in another video are even going to give us more. If you guys are wanting to see more on these products, Chris and the guys are doing in-depth videos on each of them. You'll be able to check out on our YouTube page or as always on bbkperformance.com. Thanks for tuning in, guys.